I am Dr. Kirti Gaur, Fertility Specialist and Gynae Endoscopic Surgeon at Jodhpur. During this lockdown, women were unable to clear their doubts regarding their fertility problems. Today, with this video, I will be able to clear their doubts regarding fertility related to ovulation. Absence of release of egg from the ovaries and ovulation. In an, an ovulation, there will be no egg. But in, for a normal pregnancy, we need egg and sperms both. So in an ovulation, there will be no pregnancy. But sometimes in an, an ovulatory cycle also, there may be an egg release, which might be a poor quality and it might fertilize, but may not lead to a healthy pregnancy. An ovulation is primarily a hormonal disbalance. Lifestyle is an important influencing factor, such as extremes of weight, extreme of exercise, extreme of bad eating habits, and extremes of stresses. And internally, the imbalance in the hormone is either because of brain, because of thyroid or even with the, because of ovaries. In the ovaries, the most common present, uh, presentation of an ovulation is polycystic ovarian disease. An ovulation can be diagnosed either by blood test or by sonography. Both the tests can be done in the fertility clinic. In the blood, we check for the hormones, especially progesterone, which is a pregnancy hormone. And by sonography, we do a serial scanning to see the growth of the follicles and rupture. If the cause is within the body, it should be tackled medically. If it is pituitary adenoma, they should be tackled by cabagolin or bromocryptine. If the cause is thyroid disorder, it should be treated by antithyroid drug. If the cause of anovulation is within the ovary, it should be tackled by inducing ovulation by oral drugs or injectables. Oral drugs are clomiphene cytate and letrozole. Injectables are gonadotropin, which can be used alone or in combination. If all of these fails, the patient should be asked for IVF treatment to get pregnant. Since lifestyle is an important influencing factor for an ovulation, what you can do is modify your lifestyle like balanced diet, reduce your stress at home and at workplace. If you are obese, you can reduce your weight by 10% of the current weight. Extremes of exercises and extremes of weight loss should be avoided. I hope you have understood the basics of ovulation, and by now you will be able to decide whether you should visit a fertility specialist or not. Make the most of this time together with your partner to understand the fertility health.